I am Angel Gonzalez. I'm from Spain and I have been following here, or I am following the master in hydrology and water resources. Well, IHC Delft is really fulfilling my expectations in many senses. In particular, I came here looking for a really international and diverse environment to study. And this is what I'm finding so far. I'm really enjoying the diversity in students, both in background, nationality, culture, etc. So I think in that sense, this school really stands out as one place to be and to deal with the problems of water, which are essentially multi-dimensional. What I'm learning here, or, or I am discovering, the, the essential in water problems is that they call them wicked problems, in the sense that it is very even difficult to define the problem themselves, even more difficult to find solutions to them. So really the approach is in, in which uh, manner we can look into those problems from a multi-dimensional uh, perspective. I'm uh, going to do a study on uh, alluvial aquifers in northern Ethiopia in the region of Tigray. I'm actually going there uh, next week. I'm really looking forward to that. It's really, you know, the, the, the essence of uh, what I want to do is to work in the field to really deal with, uh, with the real problems. In this case, is how uh, or to what extent the water resources in that area, which is an area characterized by water scarcity, so to what extent water resources could be enough to uh, ensure uh, agricultural production and, and food security. So it's, it's quite a relevant question and I'm really excited to participate with a little bit of uh, my input, which is obviously very small, but to participate into that kind of problems is really a source of inspiration. Well, I think really it, it is an institution which is quite unique. Uh, you can be, I think you can find places in the world where you, you find more technicity in specific areas where you are going to be dealing with a really high-end uh, kind of problems. Here, the specificity that you, you are going to, to see a, a lot of people from different uh, uh, regions in the world. You are going to interact with them. There are not so many institutions in the world where you can do that. So. If you are looking for that, if you are looking for uh, maybe more uh, development kind of problems, uh, then this is this is certainly a place to be. Uh, I am uh, I am very keen in you know uh, as a consultant or uh, through an NGO or through a research institution to participate into that uh, uh, you know formulation of the problems and then looking for solutions. So I'm I'm very excited actually to get into that new phase. I'm. A, as you know from um, uh, our previous interviews, I'm coming from a different, very different perspective, which was the private sector in the oil and gas. And now I'm, I'm looking for, a, for a, a new phase in my life. And I really think it is, uh, it is quite interesting to, to merge those worlds. I think uh, uh, there's a lot in the coming years about this uh, uh, interaction between the private sector and the public sector. So I do think I, I have an experience which is relevant in it. And I, I don't think there are boundaries for water uh, and uh, the problems are very similar. So it's, it's very important to learn uh, from the problems in one side and to apply those uh, solutions to other sides. So I think in essence, the questions of water, I don't say the problems, but the questions, the, the challenges and the opportunities related to water, they are, they don't know about boundaries. So I don't know about boundaries either. I think this is really one of the great opportunities today is that after so many years now, we have a common agenda. Obviously the agendas are all the time, they can be uh, better defined or better improved, but just the fact of having the same agenda and that everybody is uh, uh, working with those same uh, elements in, in, in their eyes or to define their strategy or their vision, that is essential. So I think I, think I, I will be uh, I think it helps also to communicate, to say, okay, our, our project uh, in this case is trying to help this specific uh, objective. Okay, then, then you can find in which way it integrates with other objectives. So I think that is very important. The, the SDGs, having a common agenda is the first step towards uh, trying to find solutions.